Welcome to the video on our 1988 Bayliner 3818, sponsored by Waterline Boats and Boatshed Seattle. Here we're looking at the custom swim step and staples on the aft end that was done within the last two years, and the hardtop was also added within the last two years. Uh, looking down to your left, there's the access to the engine room, which is, makes it very simple to get in and out. Ladder to the flybridge. Uh, here we go. Uh, going up the ladder, uh, the uh, hardtop also adds an additional seating area on the flybridge. Uh, this particular boat, the original dinette type seating up there has been replaced by three helm seats, which is very comfortable and much more manageable as far as uh, working in any kind of weather. Also the center line solid glass windshield with wiper and washer. There's also a plotter, depth sounder, and VHF on the flybridge, plus of course the compass. Now we're looking at the helm station. Of course, complete controls on the flybridge as well as down below at the lower helm station. Very comfortable stereo mounted on the lower left hand side there uh, in the console. Uh, it's, uh, it's a CD as well. Here you get a close up of the control station. Now we're moving into the main salon or saloon if you want to say it that way. Uh, there's the uh, fixed helm seat. Uh, there's a former wet bar. The sink is still there but it's not connected. Uh, much more sensible that way. Good storage area and more good counter. Here we're looking into the dinette. But the table is not fastened down and that does convert to a very large single berth. I suppose two people could sleep on it as well. Here we're looking at the helm seat and the helm, lower helm station. New drapes were added within the last two years. And uh, there's another shot of that counter area behind the helm seat. A new door was added and there's storage area underneath it. Also there's a diesel forced air furnace in this boat as well as the reverse cycle heat air, two units, and electric heat. Uh, the diesel forced air unit is accessible through that cabinet. Another shot of the helm station, uh, radar and plotter combination, compass, VHF radio. Another look at the dinette, dinette table. Uh, the vinyl upholstery is in very good condition. Teak and holly floors throughout the salon or saloon area, the galley and the second stateroom. Now we're looking at the helm seat with the seat flipped up, which makes it easy to stand at the helm. Sometimes it's better to be standing, and you can also look out the starboard window when you're in close quarters. Uh, up ahead, clock and barometer. There's a defroster fan overhead. Now we're looking down into the galley. Double sink. The former electric stove has been converted to propane, uh, three burner with oven. Storage area there, and a microwave overhead with vent fan and light. Uh, refrigerator, freezer, isotherm replaced within the last two years. Freezer on the bottom, refrigerator on top. Again, a good shot of the Teak and Holly sole. Now we're looking into the second stateroom. There's storage area there behind the head of the bed, hanging locker. Door to the right is to the head and shower with bathtub. Good size, oversized berth. It's probably close to queen size uh, double berth or, or larger berth in this area. Uh, another area, storage area there for ship's papers. Lots of storage throughout on this vessel. Looking now into the guest head, uh, vanity sink, uh, new sink, uh, new faucet assembly. Uh, there you're looking into the, the head area and there's a door to starboard which goes into the hallway next to the galley. So this can be a guest head with uh, double access from the guest stateroom and from uh, the companionway near the galley. Now we're looking into the shower tub combination. You can see the shower assembly there, positive ventilation through an opening port light and as we look down we'll see the bathtub. Not real big but it's a good soaking tub. The other side of it is the access to the forward stateroom or master stateroom uh, for tub and shower. Now we're looking into the master stateroom, a centerline queen berth with memory foam uh, included with it on top of the older uh, mattress. Uh, there's the access to the shower tub. 
the door that closes off the forward compartment. Lots of light from the uh, port lights that do open for ventilation, and of course there's the overhead hatch. The drop door above there is access to the anchor locker area. Now we're moving aft on the starboard side. The lighting, the lamps do go with the vessel. Uh, here's the door to the uh, master head. Head sink combination. Uh, overhead hatch in this head. Good, good light at all times and of course good ventilation. Here we have the hanging locker, double doors, plenty of storage, uh, very comfortable berth. Uh, I find it an, an excellent two-person area and guests are very comfortable as well with the guest stateroom. Thanks for viewing our video on the 1988 Bayliner 3818 by Waterline Boats and Boatshed Seattle. Please come down to our boat. This vessel is at our location on Lake Union and available for viewing. This is Roger Drill, the broker for the vessel.